Well, this is uh, Mike with Haltech Engine Management Systems, and today we will be covering the Race Pack IQ3, um, your initial setup and configuration file saving uh, to your laptop. Um, so, first things first, uh, you should install your Race Pack Data Link software with the CD enclosed with your IQ3 dash display or data logger. It's the same software. Um, once that is installed, that will also uh, install the software for your USB to serial adapter um, when you do that so it should be ready to go uh, so you'll want to have your IQ3 hooked up and connected um, power to it serial connection to your USB to serial adapter on your laptop um, and from there we're gonna open the race pack software um, now you'll, you'll open it you'll be at this screen um, what you're going to want to do to get the configuration file open and start editing your channels and, and playing with things um, you're going to want to hit control Z that's going to bring up your select configuration file um, obviously we don't have a G2X we have an IQ3 um, if you have the data logger dash you're going to select IQ3 config and if you have the display only you will select the non logger config um, You'll see the Haltech logger up here. That's a custom configuration. We will go over that momentarily. Uh, but first, we want to load this IQ3 config, select that, and select OK. Um, the next thing we're going to want to do, we're going to scan our COM ports and figure out where this dash is connected. So we're going to go to Settings and Scan COM ports. Um, we'll see Success with COM2. OK to select this port, and that's what we want. Uh, next thing we want to do, we want to read the configuration file that's on the dash currently. That way if you have any issues, um, you can always resort back to this configuration file uh, for, for loading later, just so we know uh, we have a good base point to start with. So we're going to go to Edit and Read VNet Configuration. You're going to see a message log is going to scan all of the channels. And this will take a, take a moment here. As soon as it is done, we will we will have all the information from our specific dash, uh, and we'll be able to save that. So, um, as you see, it's it's still reading the channels here. Uh, it's quite a bit of information. Uh, I see devices read successfully. It's uh, it's good news. That's what we want. So we'll click OK. Um, from there, we'll be able to click any of these channels. These are all channels that the race pack is seeing. Um, and now, in order to save this, we, we do uh, custom configure these to display air fuel ratio, um, your PSI, uh, if you have a one through a three bar map sensor, air temp, water temp, um, and also we have the shift light set to 7,000 RPMs, staged sequentially with 300 RPM increments for the shift lights. Um, so we want to save this configuration file. So what we are going to do is go to File, and we're going to do Save As. Uh, you'll get this Save As box to come up. Uh, come down here to Save As Type, the drop-down box. Set that to All Files. Um, and for simplicity's sake, uh, we'll just delete this file name here. And we're going to name this Haltech Logger, uh, Haltech Logger Dash dot RCG. Dot RCG is a configuration file extension for use with the Race Pack Data Link software. So we will select Save after we've got that saved, uh, named there, save it. So you'll see up here now that you've got the configuration named as the Haltech Logger Dash. Uh, this is always going to be your base file. Uh, it's what we send out. Uh, when when you get it yourself, so um, you know always save this and keep it in handy. Um, check back with us next time. We're going to cover um, setting up custom configurations for various channels to display things like air fuel ratio, um, KPA, PSI, uh, oil and fuel pressures, um, your water temperature and your uh, intake air temperature in Fahrenheit as opposed to Celsius. And uh, check back with us then. Thank you.